Defense has been looking into more about the assessment process and determining whether homes will be safe uh, going forward. I'm going to send it over to him over on Niagara Street with more on that. Ron. Yeah, Rob, actually, we're here on Carolina. That's okay. Uh, the city says they actually had about 20 building inspectors out to survey the damage in those hardest hit areas. And we also got some insurance insight, if you will, from a local broker who says the market is really tight night right now when it comes to filing claims. We've seen those city inspectors on the affected streets of Buffalo's west side. We went through the affected area and identified anything that was dangerous. There's going to be a more thorough examination of, uh, you know, missing sightings, smaller things, but it's really about hazards at this point. The structural damage list, fortunately, somewhat limited with only a few temporary relocations for residents. We had uh, three significant roof uh, damage instances, 15 electrical lines, uh, nine chimneys, and then some additional damage. Hazard areas with unstable elements like falling bricks and damaged trees cordoned off at this point. Experts say damaged roofs should really be secured to prevent any water from getting in. Some property owners may think about their homeowner's insurance, but one broker says really think twice about filing a claim because inflation with higher rebuilding costs really also affected the insurance industry. If it's going to be a claim, make sure it's one that you need to make. You know, think about your deductible, think about what you're paying out of pocket anyways before you notify the insurance company about making the claim. And then weigh out the balance, weigh out can you afford it, can you afford to pay this much of the loss or is it going to make a dent in your lifestyle? Because the minute your first claim comes through, there's a really good chance your insurance carrier is going to non-renew you when you come up for renewal. And then when you go to the market and you got a claim on your homeowner's insurance and you're looking for new insurance, a ton of the market won't even respond. Now, Mayor Brown says that they are conferring with State Senator Schumer's office in regards to looking about federal assistance for homeowners and business owners. Uh, but he says right now it's kind of limited because the damage is limited at $2.5 million. That might not mean meet the thresholds. Uh, the Federal Small Business Administration also has these low interest loans. That's been suggested for previous hurricane victims as homeowners. But again, there are minimums there as well. So I'll have to to see all that plays out. On your side here on Carolina, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News, back to you.